welcome back to RC Fun and Games. I am Ryan and today we are back in the shed to do another unboxing. Recently, DRC contacted me and asked me if I wanted to review and test their awesome entry level RC car. And after checking out the features and how this thing looked, there was no way I could say no. And it is one awesome looking little car. So let's have a quick look around the box so I can get this thing open so you can all see what I'm talking about. So there's a picture of it at the bottom. That's about the only place you see it. Now let's get it open so we can see exactly what we're getting here. So we get some instructions included and of course we get the awesome little truck which is in the middle yeah so let's get it open and here are the batteries that come with this model you get two of them if i'm not mistaken there are two s 1300 amh and as you can all see this thing looks awesome it looks just like a mini armor fire team truck and they killed it with the design besides that i don't know if the camera is showing you but this body has got one awesome paint job on it so let's get it out of here there's nothing holding it down so that's quite easy and of course inside here we get our controller so let's get that out okay so let's start by having a look at the controller and as you can see it's a very basic controller but it does feel really nice in hand and it is nice and smooth it has two basic functions one is your steering trim and the other one is to regulate the power to the truck so if you're giving it to a beginner, you can cut down the power so they don't immediately smash it into something and break it. Okay, now let's check out this awesome truck. Just check out the design of this thing. It really does look like a mini armor fire team truck. It looks so amazing. And besides that, they've gone and chosen a really nice paint. When you move it around, it changes color. It changes from purple to blue to green. I don't know if the camera is picking that up, but it really does look awesome and inside there you'll see you've got two drivers so you haven't got four like in the armor but it does look really awesome the whole design of the truck looks really cool now it does have lights up front it's got a light bar and on the bumper it's got some lights and in the back you don't get any lights but you have got a wheelie bar now let's get the body off so we can see exactly what does it come equipped with now i just want to point out that the clips are all held on and that's another awesome feature now when removing the body just be careful because the light tab is here and if you pull too hard you will break the lights so just unplug it okay so let's have a look at this platform and as you can see the chassis design is a full plastic chassis design which in my opinion is not a bad feature because it ends up taking more abuse than some of these budget line rc cars with an aluminium chassis besides that you have got some aluminium bodied shocks which are only friction dampers and you can tell immediately it is quite bouncy so if you want a better performance from it you are going to have to upgrade the shocks besides that it does come with a 390 high speed power motor with a big heat sink so that should keep it nice and cool besides that we have got a high torque servo if i'm not mistaken it is a 15 kilogram servo so it should be plenty for a little truck like this and it comes equipped with the two-in-one electronics most budget trucks nowadays have these electronics and that also means the servo is a five cable servo so if you want to upgrade the servo and things like that in the future you are going to have to upgrade the electronics on this rig now like i've mentioned this thing comes with two batteries they are 2s and they are 1300 milliamp apparently they give us around 20 minutes runtime on this truck so the two together should give a person around 40 minutes runtime okay so now that we've had a good look at the layout and we know exactly what it comes equipped with I think it's time I throw the battery pack in here and get out there and go and do some testing. Besides me testing it, I'm also going to hand it over to my six-year-old son to see how user-friendly this entry-level RC car is for somebody that's just starting out in the hobby. And before I run away, I would also like to say a massive thank you to DERC for sending out this RC for me to test and review. And I also wanted to thank you all for watching. And if you enjoyed this content, please don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Okay, so we are out in one of my favorite locations. I've got the HS4331 with me and I'm handing the controller over to my son Luigi, which is very new to the hobby. He's used to playing with RC crawlers, but he's never really played with RCs like this. So let's see how user-friendly this RC is for somebody starting out in the hobby. 
I've got the battery pack in. Now it's time for him to do some testing. Off you go, Luigi. What do you think of it, buddy? Come on, buddy, keep having fun. What do you think of the car so far, Luigi? Good. You're enjoying that? Go on, then. Oh, yeah. <laughs> right into the tree. <laughs> So what did you think of the overall performance of the little truck? Good! Would you recommend it for other little kids that want to start out in the hobby? Yes! Yeah? 
<laughs> well, there you are. You got a straight answer from a kid that just played with it and he thinks it's awesome. It put a massive smile on your face, didn't it? Yes. Yeah? Awesome. Okay, guys, I appreciate you all watching. And if you enjoyed this, please don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Until the next time, happy trails, everyone.